Hi guys, Olsen here from Model Creator again. Today I'm here to uh, talk about a very important part of the platform that we are developing for Model Creator, which is the, uh, the customization of the soldier in terms of the uniforms and the equipment and the weapons and so forth. Uh, I wanted to make this video uh, actually right after New Year, but uh, COVID uh, had a different plan for me. And only now I'm, you know, fit uh, and able to, to make this video. Anyway, the idea obviously is that with customization of, of, of the miniatures, one can customize what the, what the soldier is, is wearing and having equipped. And this will obviously include, you know, different uh, types of, of clothing starting from let's say briefs which one could uh, imagine a soldier wearing when doing for example PT or something like that and then you know pants and shirt and jacket and you know depending on you know wh which uh, time of the year you base your diorama in yeah, this will obviously vary you know, sometimes the soldiers will wear, wear just a, a shirt. At the same time, you know, their brother in arms can be wearing a jacket because, you know, they don't get as hot. And obviously, apart from clothing, then we build on from that with the, with the, with the gear. Stuff like the webbing, um, backpack, uh, belt, what is on the belt. For example, a pistol, with, you know, a pistol holster. Obviously empty if the guy is holding a pistol in, the, in, in their in their hand, uh, and then miscellaneous things like the canteen, or the shovel. You know, it all depends on on what the what the uh, unit that you are basing your model from was using at that that period, um, and what equipment was available to them. Also, this would include you know ability to change the headgear in terms of you know hats and helmets and maybe various versions of the helmets some with you know camo cover some without just a straight steel helmet or one with the net if there were different type of boots available for for the unit uh, that we used side by side at the same time and and things like that and then obviously leading up to the weapons which also varied um let's say you know some you know u.s army in world war ii there was a plethora of different weapons that were in use starting from m1 garand and the carbine up to the thompson and the grease gun and the browning uh machine gun and the bar and obviously including you know things of more specific nature like a bazooka or uh, for Germans, Panzerfaust and things like that. So we want to have all that included. So when you design your miniature, you can design them exactly, exactly as you want, you know, from, to the tiny detail of equipment that you think is necessary for that model to be telling the, the full story. And I'll just show you a small demonstration of how this would sort of look like in reality when we are finished. So yeah, so that was a simple, you know, simulation or demonstration of, of what I've just said. And in this case with the Rhodesian Light Infantrymen. But obviously, you know, there, there will be others and certain units will have more options, certain units will have less. Um, for example, if you look at, you know, modern era, if we look at special forces operators, then the the amount of customization that would need to be available in order to be completely historically accurate is overwhelming. 
you know, because within the uh, same uh, nationality, different units use different things, you know, and, and, and then within that, they were sometimes using, you know, a few se several types of the same thing from several manufacturers, you know, and, and plate carrier one, plate carrier two, plate carrier three, you know, one from, I don't know, London Bridge Trading, the other from uh, Cry Precision and so forth. So, you know, the options there would be, you know, overwhelming. But overall, you know, it's going to come down to, you know, backpack and canteen and knives and daggers, bayonets, uh, backpack, larger, smaller, rain, with rain cover or without uh, ponchos, you know, things like that, given that they were obviously, you know, actually available. And uh, so, yeah, so I hope you found this short video interesting and entertaining and there will be more of course coming um, please subscribe to our youtube channel and like this video and you can also follow us on our website you can subscribe to the newsletter and then also follow us on instagram twitter and facebook and uh, the amount of uh, people that have shown interest in in uh, recent months has been uh, overwhelmingly uh, big considering such a small time frame and we definitely thank you for that and and uh, yes and we go from here so please be well be safe thank you for your support and bye